everybody, it's Lena. Um, so as you already know, this week is um, travel back in time, do like that kind of fashion makeup from that time period. Um, I've changed my mind like a bajillion times this week, and I went ahead and settled on ancient Egypt. Um, this is just kind of like my modern day uh, take on how it would be. Uh, kind of a spin from movies and history and that's just kind of what I came up with. It's simple, um, I really like it and that and that I was gonna go like all out but I have a ton of errands to run after this today so I was like might as well just keep something that I can kind of flow with for the day. And then I just kind of wore this shirt dress that's kind of got a cut similar to the clothing they would have worn then and then I've got some really gaudy jewelry on which um was really popular back in ancient Egypt. They really loved big gaudy jewelry and everyone from royals to common people wore jewelry. Um, a few random facts because I know everybody's kind of giving random facts and I don't know what else to say so I'm going to give some random facts about the fashion slash makeup of that time period. Um, my main inspiration I guess you could say was Cleopatra but overall mostly um, ancient Egypt. Please excuse my hair, it's in the drying process. My straightener and blow dryer are MIA, so it's just kind of how it's gonna go. <laughs> so basically, I'm not like a history buff, so please excuse if some of my facts are off, but I tried to do my research and kind of know what I was talking about. Um, history was never like my love. Um, I was actually an English girl, weird, but anyway. Um, from what I understand, this type of like fashion clothing died with or kind of went away with the death of Cleopatra. Um, most clothing was made from linen which is made from uh, what is it from the flax plant. Cotton actually wasn't introduced till later on down the road and so mostly what they wore was just uh, kind of like I don't know if you can see how this is cut because um, just kind of draped it over themselves. There's some debate about whether or not women's breasts were covered with the material. Um, however, apparently it wouldn't have been immodest for them to just let them hang out. So, that's interesting. You know, sometimes I wonder who the heck the inventor of the bra was. I, um, maybe TMI, but I wish we could all run around braless all the time. Like, why the hell were they invented? Does it, just saying. I mean, I don't... Um, men just wore like simple skirts. It was called a shendite with sometimes a belt around the waist. I think that's kind of sexy just to throw out there. And the women it was called a sheath dress. And then apparently children wore no clothing up until puberty so that's kind of interesting but I guess back then it really wasn't like a huge deal. I, I always think to myself and wonder when did these things become like issues for society I mean um, men used to marry women or girls I should say that were 12 13 years old and these men were much much older 20s 30s I mean uh, I know lifespans weren't very long back then we have to wonder when I don't know enough about history but when did these things become unacceptable to society when was it decided that these men were pedophiles for marrying or being attracted to these this age group and then um, I mean I'm not religious but I know the Bible says that Adam and Eve covered up due to sin, but obviously these children didn't wear clothes, so when did it become unacceptable for children to, to run around naked, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, just things that, random thoughts that cross my mind sometimes. Um, I kind of went over jewelry. They liked a lot big, gaudy jewelry. Everybody wore jewelry. I think one of the most interesting things is wigs. Um, one of the common things to do because it was so hot in Egypt was to just shave your head and to wear these big black wigs um, and basically people thought it was like horrible if they couldn't afford wigs that you were kind of looked down upon them. Um, it was more common to wear a wig than to wear your natural hair. And then another random fact, because it was so hot there, they'd wear like little spacers between their head and their wigs to kind of let airflow go through. I thought that was a cool fact. And for cosmetics, um, they're really into perfumes, 
henna tattoo or well, henna um, and mostly the eyes was black coal this was worn by men and women and the reason for this is because they thought that it protected them from the sun and from dirt getting in their eyes so I thought that was pretty interesting and then um, eyeshadow was made from crushed malachite and red that they wear wore on their lips which I didn't incorporate into this look because I'm just, it's so hot that when you wear red lips it just gets all runny no matter how much prevention you do for it to not run so I did not incorporate red lips into that for into this look for that reason um and then so uh, for the makeup they mixed it with animal fat to make it last longer um, and to kind of make them compact and then it's also thought that they use some lead in their makeup as well so yeah um that's kind of all my random facts so we're also choosing a time period that we would like to live in. If I had to choose, it would not be ancient Egypt. I would actually absolutely die if I could go back in time and be part of Marie Antoinette's court. Um, so yeah, I think that would be awesome. So yeah, that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, next week's going to be super fun. We're taking some trips down memory lane and... Uh, yeah, keep making suggestions. This is a really fun viewer-suggested topic, so keep making suggestions. Um, it's fun for us to do those, and it um, helps us make videos towards what you guys want to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next week, and have a great weekend, and wish me luck because I'm about to take three children. I am not a mother, so I'm about to take my niece, nephew, and stepdaughter camping for the weekend, and pray for me because I'm nervous as hell, and I'm like thinking of all these horrible things that could go wrong. <laughs> because I'm like a paranoid person like that. Um, I've packed and repacked like three times for them and I still feel like I'm forgetting things. So wish me luck, have a great weekend. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next week and bye.